Hi everybody and welcome back to MD Fly Fishing. Been out again today, again just to try out some flies I've been tying. Four in particular and they all worked well, one better than the other. The only other problem I had was SD cards in some of my cameras kept coming up with faults so therefore I lost quite a bit of footage. However, I've still got a number of fish caught and a number of fish that were struck into but sadly got off. So without further ado, let's uh, see how I got on. First fly I tried out, the infamous dog's bollocks. Worked best under a bung or strike indicator as I like to call it. I put it down about two foot, cast it out into the centre of the lake, pulled it back quite vigorously for the first three or four foot to get the leader to the bung under the surface and waited and it wasn't long the fish struck into it but sadly it mustn't have been hooked very well because it got off The next fly I tried was a midger merger, or top hat midger merger. Sadly the actual strike footage is missing, but the fish that took it really ragged me round. It was staying deep and just cruising left, right, left, right. I put um, a lot of side onto it, I didn't want to put it to uh, my rod high up because I didn't want it to start jumping. But it felt a decent oh, fish, but again, sadly it got off. And I thought, am I going to catch a fish at this rate? Or should I say, am I going to land one? The next fly I decided to use was a simple midge pattern. Peacock head, black thread body with a twisted rib on it. Except I adapted this by putting a little target point under the head. You can have these red, yellow, white silver just adds to it this is probably a size 12 but you can go down to 16 with these had it as a point fly put it out to rising fish because it was a lot of surface activity and just gently tweaked it back slow figure of eight and i hit a number of fish landed a couple of them but again the main gopro footage is gone uh, i managed to recover a side camera i had that i was just quickly set up just to capture the netting of the fish itself but this is a good little pattern and I'm going to tie a lot more of them and probably use them as a team I put a yellow on the point silver in the middle and a white as well to make a team of three see how we get on with that Switch back on to the dog's bollock again under a bung, cast it out three or four lengths into the general area I was before, let it drift with a slight wind blowing. So even them little waves would have just bobbed it up and down on the end of the leader and bang, fish on. Managed to keep control of it, keep the fish on and brought it to the net. When I'd landed fish that had taken the dog's bollocks fly, the hook was always in the top lip right at the very front not in the side or anything like that quite strange that Literally, 
Then I moved on to another emerger pattern or top hat pattern. And this was based on the Vickerfly. Vickerfly is all black with a white throat. And on this one, I had a little bit of a red rib to it and put a foam head. I do have some normal Vickerflies, which are black with a white collar. But I decided that seeing the fish were on the surface, I decided to use this. The wind was coming towards me slightly on the right. So I cast a nice long line, straightened the line up and kept point of contact from the top hat slow figure of eight just taking up that distance so that the line was straight and that the waves and the wind wasn't getting the fly ahead of the line and on this fish were interested i'd seen it have a slight go at it in the distance i waited about 20 seconds then it had another go at it might have been a different fish but then literally seconds after it had turned and took it led me a merry dance again but sadly never landed it it got off. Well, it was uh, back onto the dog's bollocks again. Again, under a bung. About two and a half foot, two foot down. Cast it out, four or five rod lens. Let it drift in the water. This is the fly that I'd uh, tied myself. Quite happy with it. I'll leave a description of the video. I think it's about 111 or 112. First take, again, the fish got off. So I quickly composed myself because I was getting losing a lot of fish at this point. Recast it into the general area, let it drift, and again, bang, it went under. As I hooked into it, it made a great commotion on the water. But again, brought it in, netted it, checked it for a tag. They do have a tag here, so you can pay a pound. A number of fish are tagged, and you hand that in when you do your catch return. Give it to Andy. Mm -hmm and Andy will then put you into the draw. And you can win uh, money on this. I've never won it myself. I've never even caught a tagged fish yet, but I always enter it. But there are tags in there. I've seen the return bag, and there's quite a few in there, about 50 or 60. Again, if you want to book Pennine, it's by phone or DM, because they're already open Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Monday and Tuesday are a day off for the fish. And again, it's essential booking. You just can't turn up. Anyway, they were the four flies that I tried out today, quite happy with them. Uh, sadly, probably only recovered about 50% of the film footage. Lost more fish than I can actually caught. Caught about eight, I believe, and must have lost at least 12. But again, meeting people at the water as well, I was having a chat with one lad who has a right track to get there. I think he already lives about 500 metres, so what a place to live near. And again, having a chat with another lad, having another chat with a lad, I know I've been fishing for eight years and he was over the moon. He caught himself five or six fish. Mm -hmm. He brought his son along and he, he must have really missed it because he really enjoyed himself that day. As again, getting out is a good thing because once you're fishing, as you know, you could be under all kinds of things. But once you get on that water, everything else just fades away and you just concentrate on what you're doing. But anyway, thanks very much for watching. If you like it, put your thumbs up. Please subscribe. If you don't like it, put the thumbs down. But yet again, if you've got any comments, stick them in the comments box. I'll try and answer them. I'm not a professional fisherman. I'm a good amateur. Mm -hmm. I always catch. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. And I'll see you later. I know what I'm on now.